guys, it's Claire. I was not originally planning on filming a video today. I don't look the best. I kind of look like a mess right now, but I mean, this is what I look like on a day where I'm kind of exhausted. I went on like a walk. I walked like at least six miles just now. So, and I went to school today. I don't think I mentioned on this channel, I went back to school in January and I've been out of school since, I mean, I've been out of going to school full time since like February of 2015. I completed one class at school that year, like second semester, and then I did my other classes online. But since the 2014-2015 school year, I've not been in school. I was supposed to be doing sophomore year online, I got too sick to do that. So I'm finally back at school, which is like fantastic, but not made it to that much school. In the first two months, I made it to literally eight days, but last week I managed to make it to a full five days consecutively. I did not make it to every class that day. I like slept in some days and stuff, but still five days consecutively is huge for me. And I was able to make it to a couple of rehearsals with those five days, which is also fantastic. Just because even just fatigue and energy wise, that would have been super, like just impossible a month ago. So that's fantastic. Um, another thing that has changed is I now do not have a pick line in either arm. It's not that I'm off of IV treatment, I have a port in my chest instead. Um, if you don't know what a pick line is, it's basically a type of catheter that goes in on your, like, sort of above your elbow and it continues all through your vein up to near your collarbone. And it's in you all the time until it's removed. It can last for up to, like, it can last for up to a year, sometimes upwards of a year. But personally, I had seven of them. They got infected a lot or I had, like, weird problems. So instead, now what I have is a port. And the difference with a port is you get a surgery and it's implanted underneath your skin and it's accessed with a needle. If you're doing something like chemo or something where you don't need medicine all the time, you can just have it be accessed when you need medicine. So the rest of the time you have nothing externally protruding from your body. Now, because I do um, Lyme treatment and I get antibiotics every single day in the week, multiple times a day, I do keep a needle in for a week at a time and then I go up to the hospital or at some point it's just going to be my mom changing it and I get the needle switched up. So I had that done today. It was the third needle I've had in. I've just had this for two weeks at this point. But thus far it's been great. You'd think having a needle stabbed into your chest would really hurt but it really doesn't hurt more than having like a needle put into uh, like your arm when you have an IV put in or like blood drawn or anything. It really doesn't hurt. Personally, I like it better than having something in my arm because that is very visible. Like if you looked at me and you looked at my arm, you could see I was sick. This, especially if I'm wearing something that isn't, like this you can kind of see the dressing but you don't actually see the needle. Um, but if I'm wearing something that's a normal cut of a shirt, you don't see it at all. And when I'm like, when other people look at me, I don't look sick. And I look at myself, I don't look visibly ill because it's not like I'm looking at my chest all the time. Like, let's be real, that'd be sort of weird. Because so, um, before, if I just looked at my arm, it would be like, oh, right, I have tubing sticking on my body. Whereas this, because it's covered by your shirt all the time, you don't really see it. And so I'm liking that a lot better. Sorry if my voice is weird. I have a bit of a cold right now. I missed school yesterday. And I went in today, but um, I have like a cough and a sore throat. But that's actually positive because I'm getting a normal cold instead of a flare, which... I mean, I don't want to have a normal cold, but I've not had a normal cold in so long. Normally, I'd just get a joint flare or my fatigue would be really bad, that sort of stuff, whereas this is just like, I'm a normal healthy person and I have a cold. So that's a positive. I mean, they are sort of big milestones. Like the school thing is huge. Having a port, in my opinion, like I really like it thus far. I'm hoping I continue to like it, hoping I don't have any issues like I did with the pick lines, fingers crossed. Anyway, I hope you're doing well and until next time, bye.